Chop, chop. Come along now. Oh, oh yeah. Get that good too. Hi there, I'm Stuart Saw, and I'm here with the guys from Splash Damage to get the dirt on Dirty Bomb. So hands up, who's been here from the start? Three of you. So how did it come to be? What's the story? Yeah, you know, the, the company was founded because of the idea of friendship. We'd gone online because, well, Richard didn't have any mates in real life, and we thought that would kind of extend our social circle. You know, you got to know people through gaming and stuff. And then as a result of that, and kind of being very loyal to each other through the clan days and then through the mod days, we just kind of fell into making games together. So Rich, as a studio, what's evolved from Enemy Territory through to where we are today with Dirty Bomb? With, uh, with Enemy Territory, the game we put out wasn't necessarily the game that people then took and made competitive. They actually evolved it on their own. I think that's really one of the big things that's going to be happening again with Dirty Bomb. And Ryan, is that something you're keen to encourage, get the community involved? That's what we aim to do with Dirty Bomb. The game is a live service. <laughs> So the company was born out of a friendly rivalry between clans. It's in your DNA. What can we look forward to in Dirty Bomb for clan players? My background is as a clan player. Same is true for many of the guys in the studio. All we want is competition. We want to play with friends cooperatively. You're seeing features that were in games 10 years ago bleeding back into the games now to support the clan communities. Replays, streaming, sort of shoutcasting and stuff like that. Ironic, there's a lot of things we had 10 years ago and then <laughs> didn't do anything with. I don't think the sort of wider world was, was ready for it then, and I think they are now. And I think that's why Dirty Bomb is well placed, to reach out to the FPS players that wanted to play then, 10 years ago, and can now. I remember back in the days when we were playing in clans, that feeling of coordination, where you go on a practice server just to work out your moves, it was just, it's just brilliant. And to try and get that feel back into a game again, I think it's really where we need to kind of go. Incoming! Frag on! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Sucks to be you, eh? We've done really well to keep that as well, I think. Over the years, you know, obviously a lot of staff come and go and everything else, but even the newest guys at the studio come from a background of playing either competitive games or really team-focused games. And it really helps keep the games that we're making now focused on that stuff as well. Yeah, and I think that's just team play, really. I think the one thing that we all agreed on is that that social element, and I don't mean the kind of social element like Facebook, but I mean actually making real friends as a result of your game online, that social element is just incredibly strong. And everything that we've made since, or we've tried to achieve that same buzz, that same satisfaction that comes from team play. Destroy the checkpoint gate. We have C4 on the objective. Don't let them defuse it. Cover me! Crash oh. one. Big catch! Is there anything you've always wanted to do that you now can do with Dirty Bomb? One of the recent things we introduced in Dirty Bomb is the wall jumping and some of the long jumping, so we're driving that movement into the game again, and that's something quite different from what you see in games nowadays. Why should gamers care about Dirty Bomb? There was kind of a point where first-person shooters sort of went away from the PC platform a little bit, and the design changed as a result. We're really going back to that kind of classic PC FPS feel. Moving, let's go! Enemy down! Better luck next time, dead person. Even back in the day with some older games, we saw the community contribute so much to the game, and the playing style evolves. Dirty Bomb in year one will be very different from Dirty Bomb in year two and year three. And that's good for the game, that's good for the players. El Pixo! Get some! Thanks so much for listening and thanks so much to the guys from Splash Damage. We'll be back with more from Dirty Bomb.